Rev Rob, Biblical Basketball. I'm glad the fans are back at the games. I recently went to my first game since the pandemic, and it was just exciting. I just I just miss being in the arena live, and then I'm watching highlights on television, and the Knicks fans are looking crazy. They're standing up. they rowdy. I saw the Suns games last night. It just feels good to have the fans, and it looks like the players have extra energy and extra effort because they see fans there. And it's not just that the fans inspire the players to play harder. Look at this. The players also inspire the fans. Man, when I seen this little dude, it's a white dude, when I seen him dressed up like Iverson, like that shows you the effect that the players have on the fans and vice versa. This right here is a dude at the park with a full Michael Jordan jersey on. This is a guy looking just like Klay Thompson with the full jersey on behind the bench. Matter of fact, they confuse this man for uh, Klay Thompson. And then you got this fake looking Kawhi Leonard. It, this might be the best impression of all of them. Braided up, looking like Kawhi Leonard. But what I'm saying is the fans are back inspiring the players and the players are inspiring the fans and it's making everybody's game go up a level. And as players, we know it takes so much work to be at your best when the fans are finally watching you. You got to shoot by yourself in the gym. Sometimes you're working on your handles and doing cone drills. Other times you're just slowly doing form shooting, just making sure your form's right from about 10 feet. You by yourself working out. In your Bibles, Galatians 6, 9 says, Let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. Man, basketball players, keep working on your game, even if nobody's watching. Keep doing the right things. Push yourself on the drills. Work on your weaknesses. And us as Christians, keep reading your Bible. Keep treating people right. Keep forgiving people. Keep doing the right thing even when no one's watching. Use the gifts God gave you. Develop them. And you never know who's watching you. You might be in the gym by yourself and the janitor's watching you. Or you might be in a big game with a huge crowd, a crowd of witnesses, a crowd of Christians, a crowd of people who are curious about Jesus just watching you. And then you might look up one day and be surprised at who you're inspiring, who's inspiring you. And you'll see that the good work you do, the hard work you're putting in is making a big impact.